So I'm not too terribly sure how much work I'm gonna get done today, but uh, I did get a new heater for the shop. Uh, the heaters I'd used before, I was either borrowing or just didn't work that well. So I bought a, a small radiant heater. It's like 80,000 BTUs. Uh, I'm gonna try it out today, at least. Put it together, see what it kind of can do. I mean, it's better than nothing, which I have right now. So uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how I think. It was only like 350 bucks for the heater. So I figured I couldn't really go wrong. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna unbox it here in a second. Just went and got diesel and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the one I got right here. Yeah, gonna unpack it here in a second. I mean, it's not terribly big, but hey, if it gets the job done. Well, it came pre-set up. Uh, I had to put diesel in it, obviously. And uh, we're gonna fire it up and see what uh, my initial reaction is here. Just had to turn it off and on, like a rubber. Let's see. It's kicking on a little more flame than I'd like. Well, maybe that's because I use diesel and not kerosene. It says you can use both. Not really too sooty. I can sit here when it's breathing at, like right at me, I can still breathe and my eyes aren't burning, so that's a good sign. Fire's going down a little bit. Obviously just have to not stand right in front of it. So I'm gonna let this run for like 10 minutes or so and see how it feels in here. As you can see, you can see my breath and you know, the walls aren't insulated or anything. I've got, you know, holes and blah, blah, blah. So it'll never really get like truly comfortable in here, but if I can at least work, that's a plus. Cause I gotta get this car done. I gotta get this car done. And then I wanna get a couple other ones in here, but those are my two main priorities right now. So. Oh, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, the fire coming out of it's gone way down, obviously. And standing right where I was, I can't really see breath anymore. Uh, it's still a little chilly in here. It's only been 10 minutes, but if you're like working in front of it, not a problem. So it should be plenty to get at least some work done down here. But yeah, so this is gonna be the one of the next ones you're gonna see a lot of stuff on. All right, so I'm gonna test this out here a little bit tonight. I ran for a couple minutes the other day when I unboxed it. Um, I've had it run for like 10 minutes, but I got some cleaning up I wanna do and stuff, so I figured I'd let it run and see how warm it gets in here. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a review when it's all done. Well, the heater's been running for about uh, 45 minutes or so. It's not bad in here. Um, I'm, I don't know. 10 feet away or so you can I can feel the heat from here uh, get to about half that distance and it's it's warm if I sit in here too long my pants start getting hot but it should get the job done like I said it, I'm pretty comfortable in here right now so that's a good sign but uh, I'll really test out I'm working on Derek's car here soon like I said we have to do some stuff to get ready to get shipped nothing too crazy it's mostly just we have to get it running because it's an extra five hundred dollars if it doesn't run so exhaust, mass airflow sensor, idle air control, 
Um, I put the wheel spacers on already. Needs a battery. Uh, we got to fix the skid plate and put the U-frame on from the jump. But other than that, it's it should run. I got to do an oil change too because uh, why not put new oil in it? It wasn't really in the greatest shape before. So uh, hopefully, I have a video appear on this one soon. I don't really know what's after that per se, but uh, that will keep you updated. Oh yeah, in case any of you were wondering, this is the, the heater right here. Runs on diesel and kerosene. Uh, I got it for 350 bucks. I don't know if that's just because I'm a shop, but um, honestly, for the price so far, I'm very impressed. So it's cooling down right now, and I just noticed that uh, the ceiling must be getting warm enough to melt some of the snow because I'm getting some actual water in here right now. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's just starting to heat up here. Like I said, I have like no insulation, so that's pretty uh, pretty impressive for that little thing. Really excited to see what it'll do when I actually can run it long term. All right. All right, so my only complaint is the cool down cycle seems like it takes forever. I just want to go home or go up to the house and go to bed. But sitting here letting it run for, five, it says five minutes, but man, I felt like 50 minutes. I know I'm being dramatic, but yeah, so far I give it an A plus rating.